morning everyone i'm headed to school now it's the first week of march and tokyo is getting warmer i think today is 18 degrees celsius that's why i'm not wearing like a coat anymore just a sweater and like a light jacket so i've pretty much finished my school stuff like i've done all of my classes i presented my master's thesis but today, actually this week and next week, I'm gonna have two interview conferences. And for that, I'm gonna have to print a poster. I've already made the poster, so I'm gonna print it out today. And I have to prepare some slides, plus one short like, recording of me explaining about my research, just like one or two minutes. I printed out the poster it's here and now I'm gonna have lunch at the cafeteria as usual I haven't been to, cafe to the cafeteria in like a month so let's see if the menu changed a few minutes later the cafeteria is closed what? It's it's Monday. I don't know why it's closed. It doesn't say it'll close like today. I'll go to the 7-Eleven. Let's see if it's open. My school is actually an engineering school. And now I'm at the chemical engineering area. And as you can see, there are a lot of huge containers Thing is for gases. Now I wanna work. Looking for an empty classroom as usual. But I think a lot of classrooms are empty because there are no classes anymore. Let's just pick one of these rooms. Three days later. Just realized I haven't really shown you guys a typical classroom like how it looks like in my campus. This classroom is empty, so I think I'm gonna show you guys around to give you some ideas of like what a typical classroom looks like here. So let's do that. So 
So this classroom, I think it's medium sized. We definitely have a larger one, which is for freshmen. So this one is for like sophomore to final year students. That uh, is aimed for more specialized classes. That's why it's smaller. And these are the chairs and the table. These are movable. We have wheels underneath and then we have also a charging station here. So this is the huge uh, whiteboard, I mean blackboard. We have like a telephone here. This is for cleaning up the eraser, the board eraser. Really convenient. We have multiple colors of chalks. This is where the teacher would sit down and teach us. This is how it looks like from the front side. Here is also for teachers or students who are presenting. Usually have a mic, we have a, I think it's a laser, is it? Yeah, it's a laser pointer, another mic, what is this, I think it's a pointer, and then we have the whole audio system for the mic and for the, uh, for that audio what is the speaker but for engineering classes or maths usually this huge classroom or even the bigger ones are used yeah that's the tour so I told you guys that I have I'll have two conferences this month one conference in Japan in Chiba takes two hours from here that's gonna be on Wednesday. It's gonna be taking place for two days. And another one next week, it's an international conference that I'm gonna be attending online. And for both events, I have to present my research. I have two things to do. Hopefully I can finish it in an hour because I've done a lot of presentations in the past. I can just reuse the slides and make it more brief. A few moments later, just finished making the slides and the script. The next thing I have to do is to record a one minute video of me introducing my research, but I'm not gonna do that here now. I'm gonna do it when I get back home tonight. So for today, that's it. That's all the tasks I've done. And I'm just gonna go out, walk around the campus for a little bit and then go back home. So I'll see you guys outside. Machine learning and feature important analysis are often used to infer bacterial biomarkers for colorectal cancer or CRC. The limitation of these methods is that they only focus on the global patterns of the whole data points that differentiate CRC from the healthy group. As a result, the variation within the CRC group itself is often overlooked. In our study, we leverage an explainable AI framework called SHAP to generate subject-specific picture importance. We then post-process the shaft values using PCA and chemical clustering. Analysis of five independent data sets show that this method is useful as it can separate CRC from healthy controls in 2D space. Moreover, clustering analysis consistently reveal four CRC clusters in all data sets that vary in their CRC probability and associated bacteria. Finally, 
We created a Python library called ShapMat that can be used to reproduce similar analysis for other phenotypes. If you'd like to hear more, please join me in my session soon. Mm -hmm.